Good morning, it is 12.05 here in the Magic City. Jerry Michaels with Radio. One of the first forms of mass communication. Radio has evolved ever since it came out. It brought the nation together during World War II with Roosevelt's fireside chats. Today it's our source of news, weather, sports, and most of all, music. Local radio personality Jerry Michaels has been in the business for almost 40 years. He says things have changed a lot since he started in 1972. You know, you got to remember that when I when I started, I was playing uh, the music on vinyl. You put the uh, 45 RPM record on a turntable. You put the needle on it and it played. Uh, you know, there, there wasn't too much to it. Classic Country 910 AM KCJB. After the record, next came the audio pack. After the audio pack came the CD. After the CD, it's currently digital media. Currently, radio is facing many problems, though. Since the invention of television, fewer and fewer people are listening to the radio. Computers are a blessing and a curse. Computers make it easier to do the job, but they don't need as many DJs unlike they had before. When I first started and, I was, and everything was on the records, I mean, it was a different business then. So I, I, I suppose if you're talking from that angle, I, you know, I preferred those days to computers. But... But, uh, you know, time moves on and you got to move on with it. With KMSU Channel 19, I'm Kyle Patterson. You can tell it's winter in Minot when there's snow on the ground, temperatures are dropping, and people are freezing for a reason. That's what the Student Social Work Organization, or the SSWO, is doing at Minot State University. The event is in its 10th year already, and all the money and food raised goes to the Minot Homeless Coalition. I think just the Student Social Work Organization just uh, decided to raise awareness for during the Homelessness and Hunger Awareness Month of November. With last year being a record year, the SSWO is hoping a good turnout this year with the population boom going on around the area. The food pantries are a 50% increase and the soup kitchens are a 30% increase and people are still coming into town and uh, people, it's not just people living on the streets, it's people jumping from house to house and they have no place to live with housing increasing and everything and just the traffic alone shows how much the population has increased and the increase of homelessness around. With all this traffic on Broadway and Minot, getting noticed is pretty easy, but they won't count donations until the day is done. I guess it was bad luck in the previous years to count it as we're collecting it. After a day of freezing, it was for a good reason in multiple ways. Well, it's for a good feeling definitely and it obviously will look good on like our resumes and everything. After that good feeling, it might be time for a good cup of coffee. One dollar, even one can good goes a long way for the homeless. With MSU Inside Out, I'm Kyle Patterson. I'm so, you know what, I feel like mine, that's kind of my second Potential is someday, capacity is today. That's what author and coach Jody Bach of Fargo says, author of the book The 100% Factor, Living Your Capacity. She travels all over the country to promote how to be successful in what you do. A lot of times people don't know what they want, they know what they don't want. So they just need a coach, a guide, someone to help them achieve, or first figure out those goals and then achieve them. One TRIO student heard what Bach had to say and liked what he heard. It just made me think better like how I should approach my decisions based on like faith instead of like fear. Bach said that there are four steps to gain a new perspective. Just answer these questions that aren't so simple. What do you want? What am I doing to get it? How is that working? And what can I do differently? There are times when people aren't ready to hear it, who don't want to hear that they may be in charge of their future. It's easier to be a victim because a lot of times we don't know better. And so until we know better, we can't do better. With KMSU Channel 19, I'm Kyle Patterson. Uh, talking about Shervani, but uh, Kyle, you know a little bit more about that, don't you? Well, I think everybody does in the state now what's been going down in Bismarck, so we're going to get to that right now. All right. Controversy is brewing in the North Dakota Senate and the North Dakota University System. A vote to no confidence against University System's Chancellor Hamid Shabani was taken in the state Senate this past Tuesday and failed to pass by one vote. The vote would have created a proposal to an amendment to the University System budget, making over $850,000 available to buy out the remainder of Shabani's contract. The amendment failed by a 24-23 vote. Shivani has been criticized for what some say were quick changes and mishandling of the university system since he took over the post in July. 
This Wednesday, the bill went through the Senate again, and this time passing with a 28-19 vote to pass the amendment. After a bill is passed, it sits at the front desk of the Senate until the end of the following day in case lawmakers want to reconsider their vote. If the bill is reconsidered more than two days after the original vote, it takes a two-thirds vote to reconsider the bill. The Chancellor buyout amendment is now added to the university system budget that moves to the House for its consideration. Money State University is the place to be seen and be heard. MSU has always cared about their students and makes sure they get the best education and social growth that this college has to offer. With the university coming up to its centennial, Minus State hopes to keep moving forward with their education and help their students feel at home. MSU freshman Idanosa Enele, more known as Kelvin, shares his feelings about MSU. Minus kind of creates the medium whereby you can walk to a faculty's office, you can talk to your professor on the one-on-one -on -one basics, and you can see CAP virtually everywhere. So it's a small campus. So you virtually can relate to people more often than if you're in a big school. MSU will be turning 100 in the upcoming fall. The North Dakota economy is something to envy. That is the news. But the success of young entrepreneurs is. Derek Hackett fills us in, in, in on one young business owner that is looking to expand his business less than a year in existence. They are also looking to expand their seating to open roof to an open rooftop by next summer. Buffalo Wild Wings has been planning on extending their franchise for over a year. Mariah Zabak will tell us how Wilston is getting the job done. The new Buffalo Wild Wings is scheduled to open April 15th in Williston. So with uh, Williston growing over there, you know, it's just getting bigger and they're getting more businesses over in Williston. So quite, that's pretty good. Who knew? Yeah. But it's busy over <laughs> on the western side of the state. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Yep.